dead gone. I can't even turn the dead on key. Well, I guess it's time for another episode of Gas Diesel Garage. Let's dive in and get this thing fixed. Welcome back to another episode of Gas Diesel Garage, y'all. And today's episode is one of those episodes where I'm going to teach you how to not get screwed by the dealer. And it's going to start with this ignition switch and module and immobilizer and the keys. And I'm going to show you how to program these keys without using fancy software or even those little tricks where you got to press the unlock button and all that good stuff. So I'm going to teach you something that most people do not know about. So stay tuned. Now guys, if you're viewing this video about this 2007 Honda Accord with the ignition problem, don't be alarmed. This is actually a fairly common problem with these uh, these Honda Civics and uh, some years. I, I want to say between 98 and 2009, I believe, the Honda Accords had problems with their ignition tumblers stripping out. And when you go to put the key in, uh, you can't unlock the steering wheel, therefore you can't start your, your car. So now this would be your ignition cylinder lock and this is what we're going to replace now we went ahead and we ordered one and we ordered from Amazon link in the description below it comes with this assembly as you see here and it comes with two keys which yes they will have to be programmed and uh, this whole setup here probably most likely is about maybe sixty dollars save yourself three or four hundred dollars from the dealer by doing this by yourself now or by yourself I mean yeah I'm sorry for the weather you might hear the, the rain and the thunder and stuff but hey you got to get this stuff done so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take the column apart there's three screws under here and we got to take out and then this whole piece comes out that's what we're gonna tackle first Okay, now that we got the cylinder lock exposed, this whole unit is going to come out. But the way we do that is, you see these two little tamper-proof bolts? These right here? They're called tamper-proof because you can't tamper them. And you can't take them out. So what we got to do is, we have to take a chisel and we got to hit that thing ever so slightly so they'll unscrew. Once you got that out, see how we had to get the chisel on there? So sorry for the rain, guys. Anyways, the next thing we got to do is we got to get these screws right here that hold the uh, turn signal arm assembly on because that is actually screwed into our ignition lock. So all we got to do is just keep turning the steering wheel to reveal the screws and just pull them out. I already got the other two, but now I need to get that one off.
just got to unplug all this stuff. Unplug the immobilizer, which that's what this is right here. All right. The green one right here is actually it. My fat fingers weren't in the way. I could get them all out. There we go. Right. Just push the tabs in. They all come out. And it's all color coordinated so you can't get it wrong. Okay, well, now that we got the old one out, I see there's one little difference in these two parts. Here's the original immobilizer. Here's the new one. See how that doesn't have that extra piece? That's very important. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take that immobilizer, because since it's already linked to the car, we're going to move that immobilizer over to here. That's all we need to do. We should be able to be getting this thing started here pretty soon. Okay, so how are we going to program the new key to the new ignition without the computer? Hmm. Well, I got a solution that's going to beat the dealer, of course. And of course, hey, I'm going to let you guys know, I've been working for the dealer for a number of years. So this is something that the dealer's not going to tell you on what they can do because they just got the nice computers and everything and so they just stick it in and press a couple buttons and then it's a program and it'll charge you a few hundred dollars so this is what I'm gonna do you see this is the new key you see that little hollowed out space right there that's the space for the transponder so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this transponder out of the old key because I already tested this theory I actually put it in the ignition and I held this like that and I turned the key and it started and I haven't done this in years but we're gonna do it now so like I said we're gonna cut this out I'm sorry cut this uh, transponder out and uh, we're gonna go from there Now, if you peel the key back, make sure you trim across you know, the the, uh, the sides. Don't go towards the middle because the middle is where the transponder sits. It sits like right there where the uh, key blade is. So after you trimmed it up a little bit, just unpeel it like that. Take the key out, and there's your tiny little transponder right there. And pull it out. Make sure you don't damage it. There you go what it looks like and then what we're gonna do next just go stick it right there in that little hole right there and put the cap on it and then we're probably gonna glue that so it doesn't fall out and we got ourselves a programmed key already because remember we sweat we swapped the um, the original immobilizer itself you know onto the new one so there's no reason why this wouldn't work. Now we just put a little bit of glue on here. 
so this thing don't come back out we'll be good to go <laughs> all right now that we got our transponder the chip inside the uh, the key here let's go ahead and see if it works and the good thing to do is before you mount this thing back up make sure you test to see if it starts all right fingers crossed all right it worked see no programming at all well now that we know that the car starts now all we got to do is put everything back together well, first thing you want to do is take out the tamper proof screws off of here okay and you're gonna want to make sure that lines up with the slash on the, on the opening of the shaft Now guys, don't be alarmed. These things are designed to break off. Just like that. And the last and final thing is, just assemble a column. Now that everything's all put back together, let's do the one final last time of getting the thing started. Notice there's no green uh, key light. Well, that's going to be a wrap for this episode of Gas Diesel Garage. Make sure you look in the description below on how to get the ignition and the ignition tumbler and the key and everything else. And uh, don't get screwed by the dealer because now you know how to do it yourself. Save yourself a bunch of money. Until next time, please like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Peace.